Astro is the all-in-one framework that helps you to build static websites. It ships zero JavaScript to the browser and uses Suite at the backend. The file extension for Astro files is .astro. It also has a VS Code extension that makes life easy when working with Astro project by highlighting syntax in the files. You can create an Astro project with a single command that is create Astro and following the prompt. Astro provides a bunch of templates that can also be used for your project and to do so you can use create Astro dash dash template with the template name and that can install the template for you. All of the code goes into this source file which is further divided into components, layouts and pages. Components are a reusable piece of code to use in the pages. Layouts are a special kind of components that wrap some content in the large page layout. And pages are special kind of components used to create a new page with the name of the file. For example, a file with the name about.astro will make a slash about page. So let's see what does this index.astro page has and if I open this you can see it has some syntax that looks like HTML but this is not HTML. It's similar to JSX and to work with this and make your life easy you need to have the astro vs code extension. You can see we have a layout line and if I go to my layouts folder and then layout.astro you can see we have a wrapper here. So this is out of the HTML code within which our pages should be wrapped around. Moving back to the index.astro, so if I remove all of this code that includes everything in the main section and then all of this tagging as well. So if I remove all of this and also I remove this import card, one of the re reusable component that is in the components card.astro and we do not need this right now. So let me close this and go back here and I can type here h1 hello world and save this. So let's see how does our website looks like and to start the server we can do npm run dev and that will start the server on localhost 3000. So let's see what we have on the website. So this is how our website looks right now. So let's go ahead and add some CSS to this. Now there are multiple ways to add CSS and one of the most easy and simple way is inline CSS which we have been using in the simple CSS and for that we can go to h1 here and type style and then there are two ways for the inline CSS. One is with the double quotes and we have been using this way in our CSS. That is for example if I want to change the background color so I can type background and then the color name. If I save this now we can see the color has been changed. But then there is this another way and for that I have to remove all of this and then add braces and then another braces and within these braces. And then here I can type color that is equals to green but this green should be in the double quotes. So if I now save this again now you can see the text color is now green. So this is another way to add colors and this is a useful way to add style if you have some dynamic styling. For example here we can add a dynamic value that we get from JavaScript somehow and we will also talk about how we can use JavaScript. So that is one of the way to use CSS in Astro and that is known as inline CSS. The another way is in page CSS so for that let me remove all of this and then here I can type style and this should be again similar to how we use styling in CSS and known as in page CSS and then here I can type h1 and then give it a color of let's say blue. If I now save this you can see the color has been changed to blue. Now you may be thinking that this h1 will be affecting all of the h1 that we will have on the website that includes all the h1 tags on the index.estco as well as on all of the other pages as well. But that is not the case and for that let me go to the element section, right click on this and go to the inspect. You can see that the class is astro dash r unique code. So this means that this will only be assigned to this one and if I make another h1 in let's say about dot astro that will not be affected. So but if I type again here hello world and type this is hatak dev. If I save this this is also blue and that is because this h1 also exists in this index.astro. So let's go ahead and make a new page and see what happens there. So for that I can simply copy this and paste this here and then name it about.astro. So then here I can remove all of this code and save this and call this this is about this is about section. If I save this now and then go back to my browser and then type about now you can see we do not have any styling applied on this h1 tags. Okay now if I do not want the class for this what I can do is I can type is global and save this and this will remove that class for me making it a global CSS. Now another thing is with Astro you can use preprocessor such as SAS or SCSS and to try that what we can do is remove is global and type rang which stands for language and either do SCSS or SAS and in this case I will go with SCSS and type something here. So for example 
I want us I have let's say I have a span tag inside the h1 and I will set the color to red and save this and then I also have to install a CSS and for that I can do npm install dash dash save dev r dash 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 d and as CSS so let's wait for this to be installed and then the next thing is we can copy this and then paste this in a span so save this and now you can see this is working so we have now a CSS in it moreover we can have variables in CSS and for that we need to first make a variable so let's name this title curl that is equals to a hex code and save this and then next is to remove this and also I will remove this as well and this as well and I can put this here so this should be just a span and then here what I can do is I type define walls which stands for variables and then here I can simply type title colors so save this and then go to the span and then simply type uh, title color this should be title color oh, another thing is just remove all of this and just make this all of the h1 as title color so title color and save this and then you can see the color has been changed to dark blue now one last thing is using external css and for that we have to make a new folder here that will be named as stars or star and then here i can make a new file that with the name global.css and then simply here i can do let's say uh, i do not want any padding or margin as you can see here this has a padding and margin so what I can do is margin zero pixel and padding zero pixel. Save this, nothing happens. That is because we need to also import this. So for that import, and this will be from styles and then global.css. So global.css, if I save this, now you can see there is no margin or padding. So this way you can use external CSS or global CSS and you can use this file multiple times. For example, you can also use this for about.estco for now, the about dot s2 is not using it as you can see here it still has that padding and margin now let's talk about layout and components so layout can be used to wrap all pages as you can see here we have one example so we have this layout that is imported from this layout with the title welcome to astro similarly for smaller reusable piece of components such as cards components can be used now we can make one of component and uh, let's go ahead and try to make a navigation component so for that I will make nav.astro and, and add all of the HTML code for the navigation here. Now once we are done with this let's go ahead to index.astro and then import this file. So this should be nav from components forward slash nav astro and let's go ahead and also use this. So this should be just simple nav and save this and let's go back to our index page. And now you can see we have a logo and home and about. You can use placeholders in the components and layouts. A good example of this is this title placeholder that you can see here. So this says title equals to welcome to Astro and that title is being used here on the title of the page. If I go to the layout.astro, you can see this placeholder is being set here. Now let's go ahead and make another placeholder that in the nav component. So let's say I want the H2 to be the title of the page. So for example, in this case, this logo should be welcome to Astro. I have to add some JavaScript here. So this should be const. Of course, we need to import the properties or the placeholder. So this should be astro.props and then here I can do title and then go back here and this should be tighter. And then the next thing is I want to reduce the size of this. So maybe h2 equals to font size equals to 18 pixel or 19 pixel. Save this and let's go back to index.astro and then here title equals to welcome to astro and save this and you can see we have welcome to astro. Now if I go to about page, there is nothing here. So if I also want that here, so I can go to about and here I can again import and then add it here and then again no title so let's add about astro save this and we have about astro so that is how props work now there is this another concept known as slot which is also a placeholder that is used for external html content an example of this can be seen in the layout as you can see here in the under the body we have slot so this slot means that anything that we add between the layouts in our index this all of this should be added 
here between the body so this means that uh, whatever content we are adding that is being added here now you can also pass a default html to this which will be rendered when there is no body so let's say i remove this and then type slot and then here i type no content found and then save this and let's go back to the index and remove all of this i just simply comment this and then let's go back to our index page now here we don't see anything but we were expecting that it should say no content found and the reason for that is it still has this closing tag in order to render the default or the fallback html it should not have this closing tag so for this we also need to remove this html as well and in this case then it will remove the closing tag and now we can see no content found so this is one of the thing you need to keep in mind when working with slot another thing is we can also have multiple slots for that let's go ahead here and then type here here a line and then type slot and this should have a name equals to after dash footer so now if i save this and here i type let's say footer just to see if everything works and then go back to my index and then here i type p all rights reserved now this happens here now to move this below the footer i can give it a slot name that should be after dash footer if i now save this now you can see this is moved after the footer so that is how you can use multiple slots let's talk about javascript for that let me first remove this content to keep things simple and focused on one thing so we know that we can write javascript here for example i can write anything here for example we have already used const title color but this is actually server side javascript and for client side javascript we can use the script tags as we have been using this in simple html and to show you that this is client side and this is server side so let me do console log here and i will do server side and then here console log and this should be client side so if i save this and then you can see here it says client side but no server side that is because the server side is uh, showed here in the vs code but the client side is showed here so that means that all of the javascript code that you add here is supposed to be rendered on the server so if you have anything that you want to show or uh, you want to process on the server so you have to add it here but if you have something that you want to show on the client i render it on the client so that goes here an example of this is interacting with dom so let's say we have a p tag here and this should be click me if i save this and give it an id of alert and then go to the script tag and type const alert equals to document dot query selector and then i target this alert so if i save this and then do alert dot add event listener and then here i can do click and on click what happens is i want an alert message this has been correct now if i save this we see a bug here and that is because this should not be alert but this should be click btn let's say save this and also paste it here and save this now let's go ahead and see what happens here so if i click on this you can see this has been clicked so that means that if you have anything let's say interacting with dom or html adding playing with animation or making progress with analytics so all of these things comes into this script tags now let's go ahead and see how can we put all of this javascript into an external file so for that let me copy all of this save this and remove these tags and then here in the source i make a new folder with the name script or scripts and then here i can make util.js and paste all of this code here so then go back to the index.s go and then here i have two ways to import that one of the way is just use script tag and then inside this i use import and then give it up the path so that is import script util.js and save this now let's see if that works click me and we get the alert so that is one way the another way is i copy all of this and then remove this and then here i can type source that is equals to this so if i now save this it should work again and it works as expected so with that let's move on and see integrations such as how to use tailwind in astro or react.js in astro so let's go ahead and install tailwind for that let me open my terminal and then type npx astro add tailwind 
If I execute this, this will install Tailwind for me in the S2 project. So let's go ahead and wait for this to be installed. All right, the Tailwind has been installed. With that, let's remove all of the inline style and save this and also remove this because we don't need this anymore. And now let's see if this actually works. So for this, I can try class equals to, and this should be text 5xl. And yes, this works. And let's give it a background of black with text white. Save this and now we can see our Tailwind CSS works. So that is how easy, so that is how easily you can add Tailwind to your project. So with that, let's move on and see how we can add React.js to our project. Now for React, the process is quite same as what we did for Tailwind. So this should be npx astro add React rather than Tailwind. And now it's going to go through the same process and asking me if I have to install, if I want to install all these dependencies. All right, once we are done with this, let's close the terminal. And now to check if React has been installed and working successfully. And let's go ahead and make changes to this navigation.astro component that we have made before. So what we can do here is let's try to convert this into a JSX. So for this, I will make a new file and call this nav.jsx and then do export function, export default function, and this should be nav. So within this, I can do return, and then here, um, let's copy all of the JSX and paste it here. So once we are done with this, for now, let's make it static, title, and uh, we have to do some uh, styling here as well. So let's also do that. So for that, I am just going to copy this for now and then I will do that according to Tailwind CSS. S2 should be font size 16. So let's make this to Excel, I may be Excel. And this should be text dash LG. So it covers both of these. And then the nav should be flex and uh, this should also be justify between. And then the next thing is, this should also be flex and justify between. And I believe that is it. One more thing is the rest items. So this should be, this should have some margin. So this should be my, not my, mx equals to mx dash four. So let's save this and let's remove all of this and let's save this. So now let's uh, replace the nav.astro with nav.jsx and see what happens here. So if I replace this, now you can see this is still working. And uh, just to show you that it is working perfectly fine. Let me add some margin on top and bottom of the nav. So let's say my8 and now you can see this work. Uh, one other thing that we can do is this should have a title and then that title should be placed here. So if I now save this, now you can see that title works completely fine. Welcome to Astro that is exported or that is passed from this nav title. It's the same way as you do in JSX or in your simple React projects. So that is it for the integrations. Let's uh, quickly see what happens when we try to deploy our project and make the production version. So for that, we need to do npm run build or astro build. So let's try and see what happens here. Um, once this is completed, we can see a dist folder here. So let's open this and see what do we have here. So you can see here, we have an about page and underscore astro page. Um, we have this project ready. So now we can deploy it very simple as we have been doing uh, a lot of other projects. So this is now a static website that we can upload to any of our favorite platforms such as GitHub pages, Netlify, etc. So that is it for this video. I hope to see you again in the next video and let me know what do you want to learn next.